Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. This is your weather content for Tuesday, September 15th. Hope you all having a good day so far. Uh, me, personally, I'm having a great day. I think praising God all day yesterday in the stream did help. If you see those twos went away. Look at that, Cat 1, guys. It is now 3 miles per hour. Even they said on TV that it was down to 2 miles per hour, so it's even slower. 986 millibars. Maximum wind is 92 miles per hour. I am showing that uh, some action gauges are getting over a little bit. Like we have the one right here in Pensacola. Uh, action gauge is 2 feet. It's already 2.8 feet. And it was actually 2.5 feet a little while ago. Uh, flood uh, uh, observe is 2.5 feet. And a flood stage is 2 feet over in Dolphin. And one towards Mobile is okay still. It's uh, action stage is 2 feet. And flood stage is all the way to 4 feet. Uh, but let me go through this with you. I'll be right back. I'm going to take you to the National Hurricane Center and show you everything that's going on. And we can see exactly what's coming on with this after that. So the new update is out. Uh, Sally is now 85 miles per hour. Yay, 982 millibars. Uh, it is moving at 2 miles per hour. Uh, let me also. Vicky has 1,004 millibars, 50 miles an hour. Uh, is that, is, uh, winds that is is moving northwest at nine miles an hour teddy is moving west northwest at 12 miles an hour starting to make that turn and it's got 60 miles an hour winds and paulette is 20 miles an hour moving northeast with 105 miles per hour winds and then we have, still have our 50 percent chance on our disturbance too now a lot has changed uh, since it downgraded thank god amen now, a lot, a lot of the 90 percentile, let me put you in percentile so you can see. This is your percent chance of tropical storm for forest winds from this storm. And the 90 percent, which is right here in this purple, was way up here where the edge of this red was. So that went way down. Now the people in this dark red right here are in the, the 80 percentile and the red is in the 70 percentile. It's getting less of a chance. I'll show you why in just a minute. Now, this is your one to three day rainfall forecast. And if you can tell, a lot of this red right here that was pink, it's all going down. Levels are going down from what they, they are predicting. Even on the trail after it makes landfall, this was all solid orange. Now it's getting breaks of yellow in it, which means less. Uh, yellow is four to six inches. The orange is six to ten inches. Now, your excessive rainfall for flash flooding, here, here's where your risk goes. Okay, it goes up to the rest of the states now. Uh, impact as you can see the high risk has gotten way smaller compared to yesterday that thing was way huge and then when it gets towards friday morning it gets to a moderate area then the marginal goes all the way out to the coast and then you're going to have some in texas so you must be having some weather in texas other than this storm it's probably that other invest that we have down there now as far as your tornado watch for today the whole area right here for the florida panhandle and parts of Alabama is under a tornado warning uh, area today. Not tornado warning, but tornado uh, watch. Because it does have Torcon values today, so we got to watch for that. They are going to spin up. Now, this is your GFS model. I'm going to try and get you a, a date on when this is going to make landfall. But most of all, how long is this stall going to be? Because if you remember yesterday in the stream, we showed a big stall with the euro, which I'm showing is still there. Now, the GFS... As we go six hours at a time, it's not showing the stall at all. The stall is gone in the GFS. The GFS shows that, let's see, it's 24 hours from now. And here's the winds. I had to take a shot of that winds because as strong as that storm was, 76 knots. So according to the GFS, the highest that is going to be as far as winds is going to be 88 miles per hour. And then as it moves, this is a 30-hour mark. This is 30 hours. So in between 24 and 30 hours, there's going to be landfall according to GFS. I would say right in the middle. It looked right, right at 28 hours, sometime around there. That would be a good guess, 26, 28 hours. Then it moves on. Now the euro, on the other hand, always was a different story yesterday. And this is why there's so much of a flooding going on because it's going to sit here and give so much wind and rain to the north and east of it now as we go 12 hours and we get to the 18 hour mark it's, it's already stopping you can't even really tell 
but it didn't do much movement. But 18 hour mark, 24 hours, 30 hours, and this is all consistently throwing rain going this way, going towards Louisiana into this little curve right here. And it's just filling that up with rain for so much hours. That's why it's so, that storm surge is hitting so much, which did go down as well. 36 hours. Then it starts moving on a 42-hour mark. So according to the euro, it's a whole nother 36 hours before this thing starts moving in. And it's come, come in slowly. That's 48 hours from now. And right there, according to the euro, landfall is sometime in between 54 and 60 hours. That's that's according to the euro. And this is the strongest winds I had on it in the 985 millibars. And that's not bringing much at all. 50. We can, it's like 8 miles, 8 to it, so it's like 58 miles an hour. We'll say 60 is still a tropical storm. So it's showing that it's really, really down uh, on the euro, which I'm loving that very much. Now, your storm surge did change. Instead of 7 to 11, right here on, on the curve of Louisiana, it's 4 to 7 feet now. Now it's 6 to 9 feet in Dolphin Island. You saw how I was showing you that in the beginning with WSV3. 4 to 7 feet from the Alabama-Florida border, 2 to 4 feet all the way to Okaloosa County line, 1 to 3 feet all the way down to Chassahowitzka. And Port uh, Fouchon has one to three feet. And I went down a lot. So thank God, amen. Now I got a model run for you so we can try and see if we can get a date on this, but mostly so you can see what these storm bands are going to do today. A lot of people was asking. And it's hitting good. I mean, this is all the way until 11 o'clock tonight, and it's still sitting there. So let's calculate that as it moves. Tightens up, starts getting around 6 a.m. So I'd say right there on 7. 7 a.m., y'all. This thing is about to tighten up, if not tighten up already. And it's going to try and strengthen a little bit more, but it's going to sit there. So 7 a.m. right now. It's just twirling. It's giving heavy rainfall all across the states. Still twirling. All right, there's landfall. 1.30 in the morning tomorrow. So it's going to sit and get rain all day long until 1.30 in the morning tomorrow. And then it's going to hit land and bring all this flood and rain along this path. Let's see where these bands hit over here. It's going to sit there for a number, a number of hours. And the Euro shows way longer because this is like running the GFS run when you, when you run the NAM. Way longer. And I didn't show any power on the GFS when I ran it. And it got up to 80 miles an hour. Maybe a 78. That was about it. It wasn't strong at all. Next 12 hours. That was the highest of the intensity. Let me see if I can get stop that just right. And according to the GFS, it went up a little bit. Yep, 91 miles an hour. But not going to be a cat two according to what it's showing on here. So that's a good thing. So I will be doing the stream again today. So God bless you all today. I hope that I know y'all going through a lot of flood and rain. Hope you still uh, don't have any power outages yet. I didn't check. Just make sure to go to poweroutage.us. And see if you see any power outages coming on around you. And that could let you know if it might be power outages starting to come. Because it does show it by the counties. Now I believe it was uh, us praising God yesterday. Every hour, every half hour. That, that brought down the strength of this. Because we did ask for it out of our heart. And it has happened. So I'm not going to take from it. And take a chance and say oh it wasn't that. Because I believe it was. So I'm going to read to you once again like we did in the stream. I really love this. Someone recommended it, which we all know most of it, by the way, just normally. A Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. 
He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. All right, well, I'm going to get this on up to you guys so y'all can know what's going on with the updates. I hope you all have a blessed day. I will be going on uh, live streaming again today, so make sure that you do uh, hit the bell. Make sure you hit the bell and select all. Remember, John had a problem. He's like, I didn't get a notification. You got to select all. God bless you guys. All glory goes to God.